Welcome back to Electrical Power Plus. In this video, I am going to discuss about the insulation resistance IR and the polarization index PI test of power transformer. This is the very first video in the substation testing protection and control series. I will try to start from the IR test. Then after 3-4 slides, you will see about the PI test. The insulation resistance test of power transformer is used to assess the condition of insulation system within the transformer. Then you, as you know, in the transformer we have windings, we have core and the windings is separated from each other and from core and from ground. So windings have the insulation property. So and to judge these insulation properties, we need to do the IR test steps of how to perform the IR test actually we have three configurations one is high voltage to earth and you, you know in the transformer mostly we have two windings but some transformers also have three winding if the other windings also ex exists we need to do the IR test for this winding but uh, as a test case I am considering the transformer consisting of two winding one is high voltage and other is low voltage so for this transformers we have to do three configurations and we have to do the IR test both IR and PI so first one is the HV to earth second one is LV to earth and the third one is in between high voltage and low voltage in this test the applied voltages are 5 kV DC voltage the MAGR the insulation resistance test kit is used to perform the test. So the connection diagram for these three configurations is available in the next pages. I will show you. So you can see connection diagram for IR and PI test. High voltage to low voltage winding. So in the figure we have seen the MAGAR instrument. It is a 15 kV insulation resistance tester. MIT 1525 uh, this uh, is not compulsory uh, it may be 10 kV or it may be 5 kV depending on the test set some test sets have the range of 10 kV so we need to perform the test by using the 5 kV as you can see there is one knob and selection knob available and you can see my mouse cursor it's now it's the selection is a 15 kV this uh, test set is just for visualization purpose so you can get idea how the test set looks like so for our test we will select this knob to 5 kV okay and this is the test button the, when we press this test button the test will start after two seconds okay and this knob is a selection for different tests so here we have the option of insulation resistance in the second number we have IR into T T mean with timing it will uh, work for one minute so uh, we will select the second option and uh, after that we will start our test the set will inject the 5 kV how the configuration will be as you know I am uh, discussing about HV to LV so our main positive red will be connected to high voltage winding and this winding will be shorted all three phases Similarly, our minus will be at the low voltage winding and all shorted. Okay, now the third thing is the guard. This is blue color wire. This cable will connect to the ground. For example, uh, we are going to do high voltage to low voltage. So what other part could be? Uh, this is obviously will be ground so ground we will connect to guard so that this effect will not disturb our high voltage to low voltage winding test results this is the purpose of the guard so we will see the next diagram for other configuration for example high voltage to earth this is the connection diagram from high voltage to earth as you can see now the connection will be between high voltage and earth the positive will be connected to high voltage and shorted all three phases and the negative will be connected to earth because the test is from HV to earth. So the second black wire is connected to earth and the guard now in this case will be connected to low voltage. Why? Because 
the low voltage uh, may disturb the test results of hv to earth that's why the guard is used to protect and uh, leave our results keep safe next is low voltage to earth uh, please uh, consider this the low voltage this is the text mistake so in this case our positive will be connected to low voltage and uh, negative will be connected to earth because this is a low voltage to earth connection and our guard now in this case will be connected to the other part which is high voltage winding so this is the configuration now this is uh, not finished now i'm going to discuss about the polarization index the configuration and the test connection and test set will be will remain same what is the polarization index polarization index is the ratio of ir at 10 minutes and divided by the ir at 1 minute when we divide 10 minutes ir with 1 minute we will get uh, different results that's uh, this could be pi greater than 2 that is this is very good pi 1.25 to 2 in this range we can say this is a marginal or acceptable or okay and the polarization index which is less than 1.25 this is very poor and it is show the contamination of the insulation resistance resistance or the consisting of moisture or something not good for the insulation the question here the one question arises that why pi should be more than 1 or 1.25 why the higher value is recommended there are the answer the healthy insulation actually contain absorb and the healthy insulation continues to absorb charge over time as we are going to inject for time time the healthy insulation absorb the charge and uh, due to polarization effect okay as the time pass more dipole align with the dielectric field and stabilize the leakage current so for this the leakage current uh, get reduced and the insulation gets strengthened with the time because this is we are going to inject the dc voltage so this is the answer for the polarization index and the uh, last slide i will show the actual practical results of this ir test as you can see test date and IL temperature is written and the value recommended is greater than 1.25 here you can see in the left side we have three configuration hv to ground lv to ground and in between hv and lv here you can see the results for one minute and ten minutes these are mentioned in giga ohms so the polarization index is mentioned in the right column so the uh, polarization index are 1.33 2.08 and 1.49 respectively so these are good values and these are recommended so thank you for watching the video in the next video we will